to go veggie is one thing, but to go full on veg tart is just madness. Ah, excuse me, full on vegan. Sorry. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I have another news flash episode for you. It is somewhat of a good news, bad news scenario. The headline is Parents Furious After Nursery Announced It Was Introducing a 100% Vegan Menu. So, the bad news obviously, the nursery is introducing a 100% vegan menu without even asking just decided this is the right move for the children for the environment and for the animals without asking the parents the good news is of course that the parents won't have it they are furious they're protesting against it let's have a closer look parents have blasted their children's nursery after it announced it was introducing a 100 vegan menu without consulting them jigsaw day nursery in chester will become one of the first centers in the UK to switch to a totally vegan diet, removing all meat, eggs, fish and dairy products from January next year. So why would we consult the parents, right? It's not as if the parents are responsible for proper nutrition. No, give the kids away to the nursery. They will be in good hands. They will be taken care of. Let's feed them vegan. Great idea. How about the B12 deficiencies? How about vitamin D? How about vitamin A? How about DHA, EPA, calcium? How about it? Doesn't matter. So it proceeds. However, moms and dads have hit out at staff at the nursery for making the plant-based swap, claiming the nursery is imposing a lifestyle choice, which discriminates against carnivorous kids. It is mind-blowing to me that we are still living in a world where people do not understand the basic anatomy of the human species. If you look at the human species, the only way to find out what a natural food source is, is to understand where people came from. Once you understand that, you will realize that all the fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains and seeds that vegans want to eat nowadays wouldn't be available in a wild natural environment. So the vegans are so science, right? Pro science, yes. Okay. If you are so scientifically minded, then you will understand that in an environment where a species evolves, if that is your belief system, there must be a natural food source. So as I said, all the plants that we are eating nowadays are cultivated by us. What would we eat in a natural environment? Hmm, let me think. Of course it is meat. So by that definition, we are already carnivorous animals. We come from nature. In nature, we have our natural food source, which is meat. So there is no such thing as vegan kids and carnivorous kids. Of course, that is a lifestyle choice nowadays, but that doesn't magically change your anatomy. One mom who has a three-year-old daughter at Jigsaw Curzon House Nursery said she was not happy happy about the decision to remove meat from the menu. Obviously, wishing to remain anonymous, she said, just to enforce it on us without any say isn't right. They shouldn't be making these decisions on my behalf. Obviously, and it's very, very sad that this woman stays anonymous because probably she's scared of the backlash. We are living in a world where people justify their choices in front of vegans. Who cares? Vegans destroy human lives, they destroy the environment, and they kill more animals than carnivores. It is absolutely ridiculous. Don't play into their cards and don't amuse their ideas. If my daughter wants to be a vegan when she's older, then that's fine. No, it's not, but I'll have that conversation with her myself. You should. There's obviously no cheese, which my daughter loves, and no meat or the goodness from fish or the goodness of all of those foods. It's such a huge drastic change and I'm not happy about it. Of course you're not happy about it because your kid will get digestive issues. Even if you nourish your kid at home, it still faces the danger of getting IBS, SIBO or celiac disease. Those plants are not for human consumption. She was backed up by another parent who also preferred not to be named. Of course not. They said to impose a lifestyle choice on these children before they can make their own mind up is plain wrong. Yes, it is. If anything, it discriminates against those kids who enjoy a diet of meat and fish. Guess what? 
all kids do. To ban them from eating meat is outrageous. Yes, it's simply not their decision to make. I like to think I cook healthy and nutritious meals for my children, which include meat and vegetables. Here you can see Miss Taylor has defended her decision. So this is Miss Taylor. You can already see the outbreaks in her face. Probably a vegan herself. My son has a big appetite as well. I think he'll come home starving. Yes, he will. To go veggie is one thing, but to go full on veg tart is just madness. Ah, excuse me, full on vegan, sorry. But not everyone is against the move. Others have praised Steph for taking a forward thinking approach to childcare. Yeah, of course, just as we see in other nursing homes, right? Where the kids can choose if they want to be a boy or a girl. Everything goes nowadays, doesn't matter. Your identification will determine your physiology. It doesn't matter that you are a human that has needs, doesn't matter, just eat the processed gunk. Writing on Facebook, one parent said, it's like saying you don't want your children to be educated in what will save our planet. <laughs> Again, more vegan propaganda. We already established very well here on this channel how vegans destroy the habitat, kill more animals, and of course, destroy human health. Vegan or not, this is an incredibly healthy sounding menu. And I'm thrilling our son will be eating this kind of food. Healthy sounding, that's all we need. We do not even know what healthy is. That sounds healthy. If anything, it takes the pressure of having to feed him uber healthy foods at home because I know he'll have had a wholesome and nutritious meal at the nursery. This is just sad. Those parents nowadays do not understand what proper nutrition is. Guys, I have to tell you, if you found the keto diet, the carnivore diet, the primal paleo diet, you are truly blessed. You have a toolbox that will allow you to feed your kids, your future kids, your families with proper nutrition. This is so valuable in this day and age. People don't understand what nutrition is any longer and they do believe that this menu is nutritious. Let's have a look. <laughs> It starts with Hungarian goulash. Hungarian goulash contains meat, as far as I know, the last time I checked. Chickpeas, butter beans, potatoes, peppers in a rich paprika tomato stew served with green beans. Hungary. Not hungry, hungry, hangry. You're gonna be hangry after that dish and you will fart all day. Imagine a whole nursery filled with vegan kids that just fart all day long. Good for the CO2 emissions. <laughs> Dessert, plant-based yogurt and honey sprinkled with flax. At least honey. Honey is not vegan, but at least a little bit of nutrition. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds and goji berries. All of that stuff is bird food. Then they continue wraps filled with sweet corn, more beans, rice, satumas, whatever that is, dried fruit and flaxseed bread sticks. All processed shit. Just bread and legumes on top. All of those things are super toxic. All of those things have copious amounts of anti-nutrients. Dish number two is red lentils, butternut squash, chickpeas, sweet potato and a mild madras tomato curry sauce served with boiled rice. India. Yeah, I give it to them. At least this is an Indian dish. However, obviously not the most nutritious thing that you can eat. Red lentils may contain a little bit of iron. However, that iron is very, very hard to absorb. And on top of that, yet again, lectin containing food full of anti-nutrients. Dessert pineapple cake served with plant-based custard. But why? Why don't you just give him pineapple? I'm not anti-fruit, I'm not anti-plants, but eat wholesome, you do not have to eat cakes. Then they have sweet potato wedges, which is basically fries with spiced plant-based yogurt dip. Again, yogurt is dairy, dairy comes with all kinds of nutrition, but of course not the plant-based yogurt. Most of the time plant-based yogurts are just concoction of xanthan gum and all kinds of fortified vitamins, super bad. Seasonal fruit selection, which is is good, pepper sticks, whatever that is, and rich tea biscuits. Do I need to say anything about that? Dish number three, American squash casseroles. Black bean, butternut squash, root vegetable stew. I do not know how this is a typical American recipe. Americans in the comment section, let me know. Maybe it's my mistake. Dessert, sultana and goji berry flapjacks. So pancakes filled with sugar. No nutrition, 
pita bread strips with chickpea, roasted pepper dip, cucumber and red pepper sticks, fig and orange cake. So now, dear parents, in case you are watching, all of this sounds healthy because you've been brainwashed into believing you need all those fruits and vegetables. This couldn't be further from the truth. All of those vegetables do not contain vitamin A, B12, D3, K2, DHA, EPA and all the bioavailable amino acids. Of course, creatine, carnosine, carnitin, so on and so forth. People, you really have to investigate nowadays. Those plant foods do not contain proper nutrition. In order for your kid to maintain such a diet, it needs to be heavily supplemented. I want the parents to get up and protest against this, as those two brave parents already did. You cannot let this vegan agenda sweep over the country in the name of false environmentalism. It is a scam, it is a lie, and it costs human lives. All right, guys, this is it for this news flash episode. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef, deliver to your doorstep butcher boxes for you and we have cbd links as well on top of that guys consider supporting bobby's perspective through subscribestar or patreon we have a vip community there where we have skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it for today thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace